Bound by the St. Lawrence River and surrounded by a thousand islands, Gananoque serves up this Sunday afternoon matchup that features the Berries Bay Wolves, who are riding a six-game winning streak and has really hit their stride as they gear up for the playoffs. And the Gananoque Islanders who have their own three-game winning streak and sit second place behind the Bulldogs. Hello, everyone. I'm Billy Bull, alongside my legendary colleague, Justin Allery, and we are waiting in it with anticipation for this 60-minute battle between two teams who are playoff bound and for a good reason. Both can score and defend and have a knack for finding ways to stay in games and come from behind to get the two points. Gans is, ha, Gan has been playing great hockey all season long and a brand new addition to the Islanders will do a lot to help this franchise look to go deep into the playoffs. Former Phantom and star goalie Jake Kement and his 890 save percentage is one of the top in the league and the Phantoms loved him in Frontenac and I know these Islander faithful will appreciate the great talent that is number 39. Barry's Bay has a new addition to their club in Luigi Martone. Former ice miner and fan favorite will look to make his name known early for Barry's Bay so look for Luigi to hunt down goal number 12 today. Both sides are ready for action with the playoffs around the corner. You can bet this will be a playoff type match. Atmosphere. Justin, what do you see for today's action, my man? Here from Gan. I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to be saying, of course, Jake is going to play out another good clinic in net. Uh, Barry Spade is going to have their hands uh, tied here with a very short light up, uh, so they're going to have to work a little extra hard against this uh, really skilled Gan Aqua team who's going to be contending for a championship. I feel this year, so. But who knows, maybe this could be a playoff matchup down the road when, uh, you know, everything's all said and done with this regular season. So we'll see. Well, Jake and Ned could push them over the top. They've really got a high-powered octane offense. And I think Jake may be the uh, catalyst to get Gann into those finals. So we got great hockey action next, folks. Let's get set for Canada as we send it down to ice level. We welcome the Wolves here tonight in this starting lineup. For the Wolves Islanders, it is as follows. We have number four. Game time, but here in Gann, 
It's hockey time. 11-3-0, Gananoque Islanders taking on the 10-6-1, sitting in fourth place, the Barry's Bay Wolves. A team that sticks around. As a matter of they're down and out, they find a way to come back, and that's the same for the Islanders. That's why they put themselves in the position they have, looking both to get home ice advantage going into the playoffs, which for Gananoque will be huge, and for Barry's Bay and that gorgeous arena way out north of uh, the 401 will be a big advantage for the Wolves. Get set for puck drop next. One back. Graham Brown. BVD pass out of their own zone and they move through center ice. Good rip pass across and into the Barry's Bay zone. They move it into the slot. Chance early, but Barry's Bay moves it back the other way with speed. Jesse Dick throws it in. And they'll jerk Chase after the puck into the corner. And they'll throw it back around to the half boards and Gananoque speeds out to center ice. Good pass up. They gain the zone. Cross ice pass. In front of the net, chance again, and it goes astray. Bouncing puck into the corner. Barry's Bay turning. Campbell fighting along the half boards. He'll get it up to Jesse Dick, goal scorer for the Barry's Bay Wolves. He can really snipe them. I'll tell you, they're in on goal shot. Furley saved by Jake Clement to get him into the game. Chance around to the half boards and get shot on goal. Clement makes the stop and holds on from face-off. Suffered a little bit of a slow pace going to the start of this game, but uh, teams are just filling each other out, seeing what the other ones has to offer and the other, and uh, I expect it to open up very quickly. Both teams generate speed through the neutral zone. With their quick passing, puck movement, puck moving ability. I see a lot of that early on in this game. And here we have it, Gananoque with speed through center. Walks in, shot towards the net, gloved down. And Vilopensky, good time to bring in both goalies. Jake come in for Gamanakwe, 1-6-1 one, and, one, and a 592 goals against a beautiful 893 save percentage against Ethan Lopensky, 4-3-1, 546 goals against average, and an 870 save percentage. We should have a great goalie battle here this afternoon from Gam. Shot into the corner. They'll throw it back to the point, drilled on goal, stopped by Lopensky. Back around to the half boards. Gananoque looking to move it out. Good body there on the boards. Walking back out to try and move it to the point, and he will. Shot through a screen, deflected wide. Gan behind the net, trying to move it out, gets it out to the slot. Opportunity here goes astray. Good defensive effort there by Latimer for Gan. Try and keep possession. It'll be a wholesale change. Latimer turns in his own zone and he'll waste some time, give his guys a moment to get on, and they'll get it in deep. Giving chase is Cody Smith. Back to the point. Opportunity here, shot by Marison. Back behind the net, holding strong. Got him into the slot, but he's covered. Going out the other way now, hit Marison. Good stiff pass along the wall there. Thrown to the slot, knocked away, and Barry's Bay will try and turn it around, but they can't. They're hemmed in now. Slot pass, shoveled away by Summers. From the point, shot redirected. Lipensky makes a big save early, and Barry's Bay will try and counter here. Shoveled in. this game is going right now it feels like this game is like a knife cut, cutting through butter with the way that the skating is going on and the puck is moving on the ice absolutely that they, these two these two teams i was saying generate speed through the neutral zone with their quick passing but their 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 quick feet is what helps them a lot as well yeah and it's just one of those things when you look at like the speed of both these teams you're gonna see it's only gonna be a matter of time i'm gonna say this right now this is just my prediction. He's going to probably have a season low in shots today. That would be amazing for him. I think he would might might get bored. <laughs> Back to the point. Shot through. Goes into the half boards. Summers throws it off the glass and it's out. And it did touch something. It did. So it will not be two. Uh, and uh, Gannon Hockley disagrees with that, let me tell you. But uh, sitting in 
again in Akwe. Ryan Verbeek, all these guys are in the lineup tonight. Verbeek with 33 points this season, 13 goals and 20 assists in nine games. I'll get some more in, but they've got an electrifying offense shot from the point, stopped by Lipensky and skeered into the corner. Shoveled back behind the net. Mullen trying to get that one, but he can't. It's back to the point, shot through a screen, goes high and wide of the net by Brown. And they're out. Jesse Dick, watch the speed. Number 12 for Barry's Bay, and Jesse Dick shoots, scores! Jesse Dick with a snipe shot there over the glove, and it's 1-0 Barry early on. That was a very, very precise, uh, that was a very accurate shot by Jesse Dick. Uh, yeah, I think Kamen's going to want that one back. That's 13 goals in 15 games for Jesse Dick. He's got 11 assists to add on to that. Third in team scoring. One more will tie him up with Kelly Summers, who has seven goals and 18 assists in his 20, 12 games for 25 points. And uh, Ryan Lepin, I think I'm pronouncing that right. 10 goals, 15 assists in 11 games. And he is leading the team also in penalty minutes too, which is something you like to see from your leading scorer. He gets in there gritty. Martoni pick up an assist on that goal. Excellent. First point as a uh, Barry's Bay Wolf, and he's going to be a big addition. Definitely in the playoffs, going down the stretch. Luigi Martone back for Brown. He'll D to D pass. Shoveled up to the half boards. Gannon Akwe trying to even the score here, get this crowd going in Gant to the neutral zone. Looking to move it in slowly <clears throat> with control into the slot. Pass across, opportunity just goes astray. Barry's Bay looking to control Gannon Akwe's pressure. Nearly going here is massive. It's turned over. Back to the point, kept in. No, it's not. Lepensky come up with the save anyways, but that come out across the line. Yeah, he was just in his uh, shooting motion there. So a uh, good reason for it to be a little, uh, a little late there on the shot, but no, uh, you know, there was no intent there. <laughs> Absolutely not. Definitely not. Again, another team, just like Ferry's Bay, they're not a, uh, they're not a um, team that likes to they're they're legal plays. They're a team, basically they're a team, both teams are both very hardworking teams that just uh, aren't very high maintenance. They they just come to work and come to play. Clean hockey, clean, clean hockey, hockey, yeah. yeah. Uh, shot again, Lepensky makes a nice save on that one. Well, both clubs know power plays and penalty killing will be a big thing this game. This could be a two-on-one. Nope. Knocked away on that play. Good play by Latimer to get back on that one. Little interference run. Drills it into the corner and around the net. Clement comes out to play it. Backhand pass to Latimer. Latimer up to Steven. Back to Latimer. He's skating through. Chip pass in by Steven. It's a good play. Campbell racing after that one. He'll get there first and throw it onto the half boards. Latimer walks in, shoots, and Lepensky, top of the crease, and makes another beauty. Ooh, baby. We got a goalie matchup. Yeah, Lepensky's uh, really uh, squared with a shot on that. He's been positionally sound early on in this first period, but we know Gannon quite likes to move that puck really quickly in the offensive zone, so keep your eyes open throughout the game. Draw one back for Barry's Bay. They'll look to get it out of the zone. And that's knifed up. Bench of Barry's Bay. Uh, yeah, both teams penalty kill and power play for uh, Barry's Bay. A 25% clip on the power play, 29% for Gannon Akwe. Almost 30% on the power plays this year. Barry's Bay gets into penalty trouble and they're going to be in serious, serious hurting. And the exact same for Gannon Akwe. They cannot take penalties. Shipped up to the neutral zone. Steven avoids a hit there. Barry's Bay throwing it up for the neutral zone. And chipped off his stick, Jesse Dick, looking to walk back the other way again. We've seen his shot. And getting him in on a breakaway would not be a good idea. Dick on the half boards. It's played up by Lepensky. The point, a little arm shiver, and they're back the other way. Opportunity here, McBride. And lost control of the puck. And dump it in, Clement. Stop that one. And a penalty coming up. 
as I was just talking about penalties, both teams can't be taken with penalties. No, definitely not. They're going to definitely play a discipline game cover man 505 because both these teams can be pretty dangerous in this kind of season. 30% almost for Canada Aqua. It's really scary. It really is. Here in Spain, it's up over 25% as well. Yes, indeed. Big time. Draw inside the Canada Aqua zone. Back to the point. Looking for a shot through. More of a pass in front of the net. Opportunity knocked into the seat of his pants in the slot area again. Backhander. And it's come back the other way. Sift pass to the neutral zone. Shipped off the puck there. Jesse Dick. He'll pick it up in his zone. Swirling around. And he'll wait. Little change for Barry's Bay. Give them time to make a wholesale. And they'll move it up onto the half boards. Campbell. Backhand pass. Oh, a big hit on the board. Spencer received that one and took it. Gann back in past the blue line. Sift out. Two on two opportunity here for Gann and Akwe. Pass at the blue line. Shot through a screen and it goes just wide of the net. Back around. Look to move it out in front of the net. He's boarded. Held up. Brown recognizes that play and he'll just sift it on the half boards and down low. Back to the point. Good pass there by Blasco, shot from the point, whistles it high and wide. Graham Brown throws it behind the net. Opportunity here in the early going for Gann as they set up for the slot, shoots it just wide, looking for a pat, uh, tip there. Back again, Brown shoots it again. Lapensky sees it and makes another beautiful save. He sees it, he is gonna stop it. That will not go for icing as it comes all the way back down the ice. Up through center with great speed. Gann gains the blue line, drop pass to Sheet across, shoot, scores! Gann and Akwe answers, and it's 1 1. What a pass. Tic tac toe, that was a beauty. Uh, this is what Gann Akwe is known for is their passing around in front of the net. The tic tac toe play was quick. They gained the zone with so much speed. There's no way to defend that. and Gann hunting the puck down, looking for another one. They go up 2-1 to one early in this game. Pass across. Shoots it. Lepensky with a big save. Chance now for Barry's Bay as they come through center ice. Jesse Dick dumping it in. Come out to make the save. I've noticed Gann is in Barry's Bay zone early here. Could it have anything to do with their uh, weekend there, Justin? Quite possibly. Uh, Barry's Bay, they did play in a uh, charity tournament over the weekend uh, uh, yesterday, so that's why they're very short uh, on their bench today. So they're uh, playing a charity tournament for youth hockey. So It's always a good cause, and they're, I think they're feeling it right here in the early going. They'll get their feet under them in the latter part of this first, and they'll be ready for the rest of the game in front, and they score! The rebound comes right out in front of the net in Barry's Bay. Luigi Martone, he scored. Luigi pops it home, and there's number 12. Already making a mark here in Barry's Bay. It's a Luigi. Another thing I want to mention is, well, Luigi does have a commenced number from his time in center. Hastings did pop a lot of goals past him, so he could be uh, Jake's Achilles heel. He really is. He's a devastating player. He's big, uses his speed very well, and... That's a result right there, and they're up on a break. He's in on goal, break away, walks in, shoots, score! They've tied it! Oh my, Paolo, Paolo Whiskey, Paolo Whiskey, pops it home. And it's 2-2. This might be a fire wagon game. Unreal. Shots right now are 10-7, and we've already got four goals on the, on the board. Unreal. These two teams can really go. Both of them on winning streaks, one with six. Gananakwe with a tidy three-game winning streak. Both want to keep that. One thing I want to mention here is uh, Paul Likowski here is normally known for playing defense. That looks like they have him playing forward. So he was one of the top point getters last season in the EOSHL, and uh, he's just continuing that trend uh, this season but at forward. That's his fifth of the season. This is his ninth game. He's really flipping along well. 
Finds the five hole, long, nice pass up, could be a two on one. He's gotta get by Latimer and he can. Looking for the late trailer, deflected towards the net. Jake read that, just went wide of the net. Onto the half boards and Gann is out, chipped up through center. They'll walk in with speed, Higgs towards the net. He just about beat his man of the net. Blasco trying there, comes up empty. To the slot, he'll get another chance. Stick handling, point, the crew deflected, rebound opportunity. It's knifed away from the danger area. Barry's Bay will have an opportunity to walk out. And ship it through center. Get a line change. Gan through center. Negates the icing. Pass to the corner. Devin Campbell would move there. Long ice pass. And knocked away by Reese. Pulls it back around the net. Gan chips it through center ice. They'll play a little ping pong here back and forth. So they get the line change they want. Pass over. 10.35 to go here in the first period. 2-2 tie. Barry's Bay and Kananakwe early on. And a good play here. Look at that. Selleck getting some puck luck there. Shot towards the net. Looking for a redirect. Barry's Bay will chip it up. Great stick work there. My hands. Harris. Marison throws it back to his partner. They'll look to move it out. Reese. No icing. Lopensky will come out and play it. Backhand pass. It's dangerous back there with that door. Selleck sneaks in to the slot. Drops it back to Selleck again. One-handed. Back over. Reese from the point. Directs it towards net. Hits a leg. Goes back over. Marison shoots. Great kick save by Lopensky. He's got quick feet. And it's out through center now. It's left. Langill shoots it just wide of the net. Marison. Slows it down, throws it up to the middle of the ice, trying to get a lead pass. Puts his foot and comes back to Barry's Bay. Jesse Dick turns in his own zone to try and set this up. Campbell with him. He'll move it himself, trying to go coast to coast. He is stripped, and they're back. Higgs, good move around the D. Oh, got stuck on his foot and dumped back out. Mullen to Brown through the neutral zone. It's picked off. McBride goes over to Dick. He'll chip it into the zone. Into the corner. Good body along the boards by Jesse Dick. Half-board play up and Gann again. He'll move it through center with great speed. A three on two. Into the slot. Shoots! And Lipinski makes a great save there. Directed into the corner. Looking for a D-man. Tries to go back behind the net. Goes up. Over the mesh. And out of play. We're going to start seeing soon that again, Aqua is going to soon start taking possession in the O-Zone a lot more, especially with the fact they've got a bunch of fresh bodies that they can come out at any time. So I think Lipinski is going to have a very busy game. 13 directed towards them already. It's an average of 26 a period, Justin. you got to get worn down at some point. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, at that point, you're going to be at Frontenac Phantoms numbers for shots against. 100%. Oh my, what an incredibly beautiful defensive play by Devin Campbell to keep that out. What a play there. Going to the slot, back to the point. They're trying to set up again. Brown behind the net. Throws it into the corner, back again. They're working it low like a power play. Ripped a shot just wide. That point wide open. And a shot just goes wide. Duchesne has a boomer back there. He's got to be careful. Comment behind the net, throws it on the half boards, ripped up the ice, Gann is out with some great speed here, and a shift pass over, tried to throw it in behind his back and in, he can't do it, Campbell, the center shoots it, just wide of the net, they get a chance now, late trailer again, hits a leg, slot, shoots, and Comment. Oh, it's a great save there, ripped it towards the net again, two chances hit the back of the net, Again, trying to bring it out, but it's Barry's Bay, a one-on-two. Back to the point, ripped a shot, hits a skate, another chance from the circle, throws it wide open, shoot. Come in, comes up with a big one there. Shot and slot two guys in front of the net on that one. We've got a penalty. Two minutes for high stick. Now we're going to see how the special teams respond here for uh, the Wolves. Especially with uh, maybe not being necessarily their normal unit, so we'll see uh, maybe they can get creative with the puck and maybe bury one. Gannon Akwe with a full roster sitting at a 76% clip. It's looking good for Gann, but Barry's Bay with that offensive power. It's going to be quite a power play here for the next two minutes. Barry's Bay at the draw. One back. A 
along the boards and down low. Shovels it back, Jesse Dick, looking for Campbell at the point, and he'll find him. He'll drive that line shot through, and Kamen finds it through that massive crowd, and holds on to make the save. But it's still cycling for Barry's Bay. Top of the circle. Campbell now looking. Shot stopped by Kamen. Good one T play there over to Phil Mullen. Shovel up the ice, looking for the long pass. And he won't get it. Higgs. One thing I'm going to mention here, again, Alkway's got an extremely dangerous penalty kill. They'll be very aggressive on the forecheck, forcing turnovers at the blue line and going in on a breakaway. So keep your eyes open. They're very aggressive. Pass over and Jesse Dick trying to find a lane. He will. They stay on side. He gets into the slot area. Circles back. What a slash there. He loses it. Like Justin said, they're out on a rush. Two on one opportunity on the penalty kill. Slot, he shoots, and oh, what a save. Just like he wrote it up on the board. Gann comes down with a great chance, shorthanded. Barry Bay back the other way, shoots, and hits a stick and goes wide. Back to the post for Kement to make that save as well. And there's 41 seconds remaining in the power play for Barry's Bay. It's all about doing your homework, Billy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. Good spin move there by Campbell. Campbell in his own zone, looking to bring it out. Drop pass off his stick. Sarazen over to Campbell. Loses that one, and Gannonakwe is in again. 20 seconds left on the penalty kill for Gannonakwe. Really had some good offensive opportunities and pressure to kill some of this clock. It's back down to Aiden Harris. I'll leave it there for Duchesne. And they'll kill the rest of it. Eight seconds remaining. Shot up the ice. Good play. They're on it quickly. Again, chipped off the boards. He goes right after it. Nice opportunity there to get it out. He didn't forecheck going. Harrison will lose it, though. Back is McDonald. Past that blue line. He loses it. Gann is out again. Two on two this way now. Wayman with Pawlowski. Two on. Shot. Goes off the hill of the stick. Into the corner. Back to the point to Harrison. Shot through. Went up. Good save there. He's finding every puck you can see. Yeah, Lipensky's got quick feet. He's really quick at getting dropping down to his butterfly, kicking out pucks. He's uh, believe it or not, he's got really good rebound control. Uh, you know, and I, you know, he's gonna continue bringing that uh, throughout the game. Ryan's being a command where he sees it, he stops it. One to Barry's Bay, flip to the point. Latimer will contain that. Shot it just wide of the net. Puck bounces right back out in front. Lively boards here in Gananoque. <clears throat> like springs. And Jesse Dick crosses the blue line, waiting for some help. He gets it and takes the hit. Again, takes the puck, and it's Selleck. Out through with speed. Selleck, a drop pass. Ripped it on net. Lipensky with a nice save there. <clears throat> back into the corner, Selleck. Looking for man in front, now going to the point. Walks through to the slot, he chipped off his stick and out through center, Jesse Dick sees it's going for icing. And we'll have it brought down. 4.30 to go here in the first, 2-2. Jesse Dick there, you notice he's kind of hovering in the neutral zone looking for the breakout pass. May not be a bad idea right now, especially with how aggressive Gan Ogway is. If they happen to bobble a puck, you might have a breakaway going up the other way. He's actually watching. It's not even detrimental to the team. He's he's breaking out when they've turned it over, and he finds himself up here almost at the blue line. Yeah, it's pretty good. Draw back. D to D. Rip the shot. What a great save by Lipensky. Rebound. Oh, my. What a great stop on that one. Lipensky finds two, and he's up to 18 shots in the early going in this one. Lipensky's looking a lot like Harry Price. And the number suits him, doesn't it? 31. Yes, Where CCM is too, didn't he? Yep. Just before he switched over to True. The best goalies were True. Do they? That's yeah, True. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Draw one back in Barry's Bay. <laughs> no offense to those who wear CCM. <laughs> I love Coho. I always love Coho. Draw back. Drop back. Throw behind the net. Around. Higgs. Trying to work it out. They're keeping it deep. Oh, outworking Barry's Bay right now by just puck movement into the slot. Chance. I'm gonna hold on to that one. <clears throat> Bouchard throwing it into the corner. They'll cycle it back out. Trying to look for a lane. Coda, he's great with that puck. Towards an oh my, what a stop! How did Lipensky see that one through the screen and come up with the toe save? 
Yeah, he's got happy feet. <laughs> Pass up through the neutral zone. It's going down for an icing. And now it'll be Barry's page chance to break this two to tie. Here from Gan. Good crowd on hand. They're lively. It's, it's a really good crowd actually here in Gan. Yeah, better than the last time we were here. I think there was only 40 fans last time we were here. <laughs> it was. This time she's good. And I think if this is Barry's Bay side, if they drove this long to get here, my goodness. What support do the Wolves have? It's incredible. Again, we'll set up behind the net. San Vito running around the boards. Trying to safely come out with it. Now everybody's left him alone. Pass over. They'll gain the blue line. Rip the shot. Lepinski. In his back pocket. Grab that one. Probably his easiest shot of the 19 right there. He saw it all the way. Comes up with a nice save. 3.21 to go. Here's the 2-2 tie with Barry's Bay and Gannon. Shovel back out. And down the ice. Gannon turning in their zone. Wheeling with speed here. Through center. Reese across the blue line and into the dot area. Leaves it there. Try and set up a just into the slot. Oh, my Reese. Got every bit of Campbell on that one. Dodges him there behind the net. Tries to throw it out in front. Back behind the net, just cycling it so well. Holding on to Barry's Bay in the offensive zone. Shoots it, stopped there again by Lepinski. I don't know how he's seeing these. Marison, another DDD pass. Set up here again for Gann. Look at that long sauce. Beautiful by Latimer. Towards the net. Redirected. Shoveled away by... P another chance again down low. To the slot. Shoots! And a big save. Rebound. And it goes just wide. Lepensky on fire in this first period. Down low by Kalowski. The slot. Another one. He is just unreal right now. They got to find a gear. Barry's Bay and help their goalie. It's the Lepensky show in this first period. Oh, a nice save by Kement. Kement responds there. I got to tell you, Kement's looking at this going, man, this is what the other goalie feels like in, in, in uh, my games this season. <laughs> it's time to breathe, and it's knocked away. Gann is Blasco really working it. Sauce pass opportunity there. Just goes wide. Point. Shot. It hits a stick and goes up into the glass. Barry's Bay with a minute 40. Comes back the other way. The, one of the goal scorers, Jesse Dick, dumps it in. Clement juggles it, but holds on to that bouncing puck. I'm not sure if Clement here is having some, uh, some butterflies here, but oh, it looks like Selick is getting into it. Is that Martoni? He's taking three or four shots in the mouth. It is Martoni. He definitely can take it. No, not Martoni. It's somebody else. Number 15. 16? Sorry, my, my apologies. Andy McDonald. Wasn't no there, penalty. On. Wasn't there an Andy McDonald play for the Anaheim Ducks that wanted to stand the cup? Yes, was. He was really good, too. Maybe that's him. Yeah, you <laughs> never know. Draw here. Shoveled into the corner. Noah Summers trying to win that one. Up through center ice. Kick through. And in. Gann will chase after this one. Turning into the corner. To drill around the boards and down the ice. Getting close to the minute mark. That's going to be an icing as it dribbles over the blue line, over the red line. That was probably the longest icing call I think I've ever seen. That should have been called off, to be honest. Slowed right down to a crawl. It didn't look like a defenseman. It was going full goal at the last second. We got a minute 17 to go. Shots on goal, 22 11. In favor of Gannon in this one. But we know Barry's Bay, doesn't matter if it's 4 1 in the first, they're still in the game. So they're tied right now, getting it worked right now by Gann. But uh, they got 40 minutes. That's been their identity since, you know, the beginning of the year. There's no quit this game, whether you're up or down. You, just, you play the full 60 minutes, you don't stop skating. The one thing that's getting up that you need to know is don't ever be flat-footed because you'll, you'll pay for it dearly. I like the long pass, eh? That's right. Duchesne goes it in on the half boards. Behind the net, looking in front, back behind the net now. Higgs to Duchesne with a good shot. 
up and it hits into the cage of Lipensky. Blow it dead. Make sure he's okay. bit of butterflies coming into a new club, playoff bound, top seeded, but he is going to be spectacular here again. Absolutely, and Jake, he's, he's known to settle down quite easily, uh, you know, he started off slow, but you know, maybe with a few more shots like he's used to in front, <laughs> uh, maybe he'll get those, maybe he won't, but oh, wow. but uh, Jake's going to settle down, I have no doubt. Well, he, he, the, the more shots he takes, like you say, the better he gets, I find, feels the puck like any goalie. And then gets into the zone. Some muscle behind the net. They'll work it out. Blasco throws it cross ice. No high stick there. Shovel to the point. And it'll be settled down by Duchesne. Blasco waits for him to clear the zone. Walks into the top of the circle. Backhand pass into the corner. 14 seconds remaining. Chipped off the glass. Barry's Bay through center. And uh, have eight seconds left. Probably run the rest of the clock here. Neither team will get a chance. And that'll do it. 20 minutes down here in Can, in the Thousand Islands. Gananakwe and Barry played with a 2-2 tie in the first. Shots on goal, 23 Gan, 11 Barry's Bay. Folks, we'll be back. This game is just heating up. Stay tuned. From Latimer for Gananakwe to tie to two. That's where we find ourselves, folks. The only penalty of the period is a high sticking from Chris Latimer. Gananakwe got away with it. Did not have a goal scored on him. They actually had three or four opportunities themselves on Barry's Bay. One thing I want to throw in there, too, is Gananakwe is without forward Ryan Verbeek, the lead, uh, sco leading uh, scorer. So, uh, Gan has to uh, kind of uh, see who's got the extra punch in the uh, scoring some goals and... Uh, Very much noted. Which I don't think it will make much of a difference. The team is very well skilled enough as it is. They know what they're doing. They do with whoever's in or out of the lineup. So. Top to bottom. Selleck's line has actually been noted as really containing the puck well inside the zone. But all, every line's been booming tonight for Gann. That long bench over there on the home side. Well, we've got puck drop, and Gann has it. That'll hit a stick, but it'll go for icing down to the other end. <clears throat> Well, both these clubs could meet each other in the second round of the playoffs, depending on how it goes. And it would be an incredible series. These two teams hooked up. Draw inside the zone. And one back for Gant. Around the boards of Selleck. He can't reach out and grab that one. Mullen. EDD pass for Campbell. Lost there, and here comes Duchesne in. Ripped a shot, hits a stick, goes up into the glass and around the corner. Steven tries to dump that back in, he can't. Opportunity there for Brown to throw it in. And Gann loses it, and they're away. Opportunity here for Coda into the corner. Throws it to the slot, knocked away. Good defensive play there by Harris. Behind the net, throws it out in front. Can't convert on that one. Back is Selleck, tough guy to get off the puck. Throws to the slot, hits a leg, goes back the other way. And a good chance here, Jesse Dick. <clears throat> we know he's got that shot, drop pass, chance. Loses the handle, regains it, shoots, hits a leg. And it sat there in the crease for a second. And they couldn't decide on what to do. Lepensky, oh, he'll have to hold on to this one for a draw, and that's a big win for Gann. Yeah, definitely, and you know, on this next face-off is gonna be crucial because, you know, that could have been an icing call, but unfortunately, uh, the referee called it off. It's really too bad for Barry's Bay, but really good for Gann. If they can get a straight draw, they can't. Barry's Bay will control. And behind the net they go. Sarah's in a smart play out the glass. Dixon tries to shovel it over to his defensive pairing. But Summers is there to meet that puck. But it's in for Gann on a two-on-one pass. Cross, shoot, scores! Gannonakwe takes a three. Two lead early. What a pass. Two-on-one breakdown of the Barry's Bay D. And they convert. This crowd's loving that one. 
Jacek Polakowski gets his second goal of the game. Uh, he's got a knack for the net, number six on the season in nine games. That'll give him 17 points on the year. What a pass and what a conversion. Dan retakes the lead now. Play off the glass. Put down by Dixon. Dixon one hands it. Tries to get it inside the zone. Going across the ice by Pawaski. Into the slot. Chance against shoots. And a good save there. Holds on for the whistle. It is Lepensky. Glasgow getting the assist on that one. Draw one for Barry's baby. Shovels it back and Gann there, ready to set up again. A blasting shot and he scores! Ripped it from the point. It was such a hot shot. Latimer dropped his stick. And they drop a two-goal lead now on the Barry's Bay Wolves. A ripped shot from the point. Lipinski, I don't think, saw it. And that is what they need to do. Get a lot of traffic in front of Lipinski because when the goalie's hot, He's seeing it. It's not going in. Hey, look, he did the Ovechkin celebration with the hot stick. Oh, did he? I thought he just dropped it. Oh, interesting. Oh, they must be feeling it right now. Coda drops it into the zone. Around the net to Dwayne Wainwright. Great pass up and they're away. A break by Coda. Nice move. Oh, my word. What a save by Jake Kamen. And his D come back to make a great play there on the wide open cage. Number 39 comes up with his biggest. Kurgan. Cross ice pass. Shot from the point. And goes wide. Towards the net again. Reflected off a stick and goes into the corner. Back to the point. Throws it along the wall to Jesse Dick. He'll stop and go back the other way. Looking to set up here. Early part of the second period, and Gann's got a two-goal lead. And they'll move out to center with it. Great pass up to Coda. Stops at the blue line. Cross ice pass. Just out of the reach. Dump it down low. Looking out in front. No, he'll find Coda though. Shot and a good save by... Oh my, another chance in front of that net. Rebound! Score! Oh boy! And an play with three straight goals here in the first three minutes of this period. Will we see a goalie change? You know, in this situation, I wouldn't really uh, be surprised if it does happen because there's only 11 skaters on Barry's Bay. Might not be a bad idea to give your starter a little bit of a game in there. Yeah, this is going to be a tough game for Barry's Bay. Gananakwe is not a team that goes away. And they just seem kind of slow right now. We've seen them play. Oh my God, what a beautiful play. Tic-tac-toe again to the slot. Knocked out. You're out. Barry's Bay has a three on two. Walking in on goal. McBride shoots and comment. Comes up big again with a great save. It's a large goalie. When he gets out to the top of the crease, almost impossible to beat him. Yeah, Kamen, he's in a situation he's not used to right now. He's got some goal support right now. He is. It's, uh, they haven't had a three-goal lead, I don't think, with Kamen in that. Last time, last time the Phantoms had a three-goal lead was actually against the Ice Miners and against these very Wolves. So That's true. The first game of the season. That's right. Oh, Gann is in with great speed. They're just knifing through Barry's Bay defense. Opportunity Blasco. He's already got an assist. He'll feed the point. And the shot's coming and it's stopped by Lepensky. Slot chance again. Score! Dan a knock away is running away early. And the Wolves got to get their feet underneath them. We keep looking to the bench. And they've got Seth Green, or Sean Green, on the bench right now. And he's a great goaltender. He can get the job done. But Lepensky, I mean, you can't blame him for any of these goals. No. Again, you can tell that uh, the Wolves are looking a little tired right now. Drawings, center ice. Draw back. Duchesne. Hold on to it. 
Trying to move it out. Oh, Smart turn back in. Right now is in playoff form. Smart with the puck. Control, wasting time when they need to get set up. A nice pass up to the blue line, and they're in with three of them a chance. Slot scores again! And that one's going to do it, I think. That was a beautiful play set up by Gann, and the conversion was no chance for Lipensky on that one. Yeah, we started to for Lipensky here. He started off that first period. That was a Lipensky show in the first period, but I think this team is just running out of gas. He really is, and these plays are impossible. Like, that's a cross-crease pass. He made three saves on the first, on the last goal before this one. And uh, Gananagwe is just too strong right now. Barry's Bay has got to find their wheels. Yeah, again, is, is fantastic at smothering her around the net and just looking for rebounds and burying those pucks. So that's their bread and butter. Way down here, we're talking about the Gananakwe offense, and they're putting on a show right now. Every cylinder firing for Gan is devastating for any team they play, especially on Gananakwe's home ice. Selleck, a nice play. Steven, a beautiful pass, and an opportunity there for Harris. Goes into the corner. Look at that. They are moving. Like, they are looking to get 10 before the third. They are really smoking early on. Still have a chance again. Point. Oh no, a slot again, shot stop. He's dribbling into the point there. Pushing out of the half boards to the blue line and out. Barry's Bay with good speed here. Langill throws it to the slot. It falls on his stick and it's stopped by Comment and holds on for the faceoff. 72, Gananakwe, 14.53 to go in the second period. And we know Barry's Bay will never go away. Oh, hey, it hey, rhymes. Yes, indeed. Uh, so, hey, we can see a major comeback here as well. Draw back. Gananakwe. Ooh, good pressure there by Barry's Bay. Polakowski. Ol pass up. Harrison in his own zone. He'll try and turn this back around. <clears throat> Goes down the ice. No ice, and that's trouble. There's Higgs. Drop pass. Back to Higgs again. He's behind the net. Out in front. Shot! And it just goes high. And over the net. Allows to so wide open. Shoots. Just missed the net. They are stuck in neutral now. Let me tell you. Gann is taking advantage of a sluggish start by Barry's Bay. An uncharacteristic game, to be honest. Barry's Bay is a very disciplined hockey club. But right now, Gananakwe is too strong. Beauty pass up. Blasco again. They'll gain the blue line. Sit fast cross. Oh my goodness. Do you believe in miracles? That was amazing. Pass in the blue line. Down low. Touch pass. Cross ice. And bing. We got an 8 to 2 advantage. Just make the decision, and we're not second guessing the coach. But now is the time to pull. You've got to tell your team we're still we're still playing, and uh, and they. I mean, if they're gonna, that's tough. Ben Blasco, three dick. He's gonna be the one stone looking to go go hard to the net. Big time. He is a goal scoring machine. When he gets going, it can be trouble. Again, again, with control, gains the blue line, pass back to Duchesne, he's got a good shot. Hits off a stick, goes back towards the net again with it. Around into the corner, up the ice, a two on one. Jesse Dick just missed that one. <coughs> up the ice, Barry's Bay, retains the neutral zone, but just flips it in. That'll land right on again, an Akwe stick. Oh, Barry's Bay, good. All four truck there, shot, and there's three of them three away. One. Yep, Coda. Drop pass coming. Ooh, a little hard for Duchesne. Goes through his legs, back to the point. Very Bay shovels it up to Jesse Dick, and here's a good chance now. Dick, nice move. Shoots, and it hits a stick, goes up into the mesh, and we'll have a draw. Any chance they're getting is met with great defense by the Gannonockway Islanders. Really, you can tell they're not a give-up team. They're going to go right to the very end. 35 to go here in the second. It's off one for Gann to the point. And Gann will 
set up. They'll look for an opportunity to move, and they'll find the space. Pigs, nice play to get in, sift back to Latimer. This is how you set it up right here. Throw it down low, get your first man in there. Wayne goes into the corner, back down low again. Look at the setup. Oh my, just missed that one. And they're going for guaranteed goals here. These cross crease passes, and they're converting on a lot of them. Feels like a power play. It really does. Dan again brings it in Wayman. He's got a wicked shot. Tried to tie his man up before he could get to it, but it's taken away again. Gannon, Higgs turns. And he is really firing to shot. Oh, it hit the side of the net. Great pass, cross ice. In the corner now for Higgs. Back to the point. Latimer throws it down low. Higgs will pick that up in the corner. Throws it in the slot. Shot, rebound, and it's shoveled away. Can't get to that one. It's out. Spencer Ryan at the end of the long shift. They'll make a change. McGann now goes in again. Latimer shoots it just wide of the net. He had that corner pick. He sure did. Off the ice in the 2 on 0. It's given to Jesse Dick. And on goal shot. And Jake Comment comes up with a big save again on a break to the ever dangerous number 12, Jesse Dick. We got a slashing call coming up. He completed the shot, so it shouldn't be a penalty shot. That one flutters in. Hold on to that. That's yeah, just going to be two for slashing. And Mary's Bay will go on the power play. Looks like Jake is trying to find his legs and his groove, so he's not giving up any rebounds. He's just gobbling up that puck. I was so excited to be able to call his name again. Seeing his name on that score sheet pumps you up, let me tell you. Mary's Bay. Point. Campbell with a chance here and a shot from the point. Hits a heel of his stick and goes into the corner. Jesse Dick back to the point to Campbell. To Jesse Dick. Shot wide. Closes up the five hole and keeps it out. Does that one look like it wanted to sneak through? and it's scrummed. Shot through, won't get in the net. It's off the heel of his stick again, goes into the corner. Mullen having a hard time on that left side. <clears throat> They'll clear the zone, bring it in. Tried to drop pass, and it won't work, and it'll come all the way back down into the Berries Bay zone. <clears throat> off the board, sift over, and Berries Bay gets it into the zone. Minute 10 remaining in this power play. Behind the net. Into the corner. Good stick work. DDD opportunities. Taken away. Shot through. And Jake Comment finds that one. And he'll hold on to the whistle. Well, the number's starting to clip up now for Barry's Bay. 20 shots. Halfway point of the game. It's an average of 40. That would be a good number. Apparently Jake is above his safe percentage right now, so that's, uh, that's good news. I'll tell you, I think that thing's going to bloat here in Gananoque. I mean, it's already 893, which is really high for the EOSHL. You know, I got a funny stat for you, Billy. So you know who had an 893 save percentage one year and won the Stanley Cup? Grant Fuhr. Patrick Waugh. No way. 93. And it was his statistically his worst season of his career. That is something. I would have never guessed that. In a million tries, I would have never guessed that. Because his playoff was so good. Yep. Wow. Damn. Well, look at that. He went offside, onside, offside again, and was able to get onside and shovel it into the Barry's Bay zone. It's an art. It sure is. And Jesse Dick, he's in with good speed. Drop pass, slot chance, and it's knocked away. Wayneman off the boards, kept in by Barry's Bay. Tries to go down low, can't, slot chance. Here we go, the penalty's over. And Barry's Bay loses that one. And Gann moves into the zone. May want a line change to pass over. Nice move, head fakes. Oh, what a pass. It just goes wide. Throws it back behind the net. Four Barry's Bay guys in front of the net, and they can't come up with that puck. Drops it back. Higgs trying to throw it. No, that's Cody Smith, I'm sorry. Back to the point, Reese. And down low, they're walking in. Nobody near him. 
shot, rebound. Oh, he just missed that corner. Back behind the net, tried to throw it up. Orlowski pulls that one off. Spencer with it now, throwing it up. It's taken away again. Good play there to stay onside again. Higgs, bottom of the circle, throws it back to Reese. Down low to Higgs again. What a play and way to stay on that post. By Lepensky. Throws it into the slot, blind pass. Would have been a good play if it got through. Stick lift there, turn back the other way. Shoveled in to Blasco. Cross ice pass to the slot. Higgs scores! Oh, they hit the water bottle. Pump that water bottle. Top shelf. In and out waves. Got nine. Like we're gonna see a change at the start of the third period, just a hunch. Yeah, I'm surprised that they're letting it go this long. It's not, it's, it is not Lepensky's fault. Not at all, no. It's just one of those, like, sometimes it's just uh, keep your team engaged in the game. Yeah, and let me tell you, it's not even Barry Faith's fault. They're, they, it's not like they're not playing hard or trying. Gann is just on a different planet right now. They are cycling the puck so well, everything's in their tip. Uh, sticks flush. And that's hard to stop, even the best teams. Look at this puck movement. They're just beautiful. Oh, it's, it's, it's like pitching clubs. Yes. Uh-oh. Oh, he oh, just missed the handle on that. Campbell boards his man. Trying to get away from him is Higgs. He'll drop it back. Rings around the boards. Back to the point. Down low to Blasco. He's really on fire tonight. Back to Blasco again to the dot. He saw an opening and it went away quickly. In the corner, Higgs back to Blasco again to the point to Latimer. He's got Dixon to his left, shot, hits a leg. One thing you're noticing here is there's not really any hitting going on right mm -hmm. now because, I mean, uh, when, when you look at uh, overall the energy that it takes to hit a guy and receive a hit, you know, Barry's Bay wants to conserve as much of that as possible. So a pass across, a good defensive play there by Mullen, but they've got a cycle going that is unrelenting. Tried the back door on Pawlowski. Back to the point, Dixon can't keep it in, but they're looking for a line change anyways. It's a nice pass over to Blasco. He'll hold on to this one and move it back into the GAN zone to set up. <clears throat> Through center, Duchesne to the blue line. Beautiful, crisp pass, tried to throw it down low. They don't panic, they keep it in, holding the pressure against Barry's Bay. Back to the point, chance again. Oh, he's knocked down, no call. Shoveled into the corner. Moves around a man, a good play there. I'm pretty sure that's Coda, I can't see his number. Yep, Duchesne flips it onto the boards, shovels it down low. Gan putting on a nice show for these Gananoque Islander fans. Back around the net. Duchesne playing some uh, forward right now. Just around the net. Try and move it out again. Cody Smith, it's knocked back to the point. It will not get out of the zone. They need a line change bad to the slot. Good chance there. It goes wide. It's by Smith. Back to the point to Brown. He'll throw it across the ice to Duchesne. Still up front. Good spin move there showing his offensive abilities. Walks it into the front of the net. It just... Oh, and he got knocked into the net. He was not happy about that. You can see the intensity. He's still there for both these teams. <laughs> I, I got a little chuckle there when he shut the net off like that. It reminded me of Henrik Lundqvist uh, and when the Rangers when he got really bad. Except it wasn't the goalie. It was the game player knocked off the opposing net. 35-21, the shots on goal. And in this game, there's uh, Ben Blasco with his three goals. Yeah, three goals and an assist right, two assists right now for five points. Jake come in trying to stay loose. Yeah, this is going to be a first for Jake. Look, I mean, he was just stretching his crease, and I don't think he's ever had to do that all year. He's only faced 21 shots. When I say only, he's on pace for 30 plus shots. That's still a good number, but it'll be, like you said, his lowest total of the season. And we're not cutting it's the correct. fandoms up or the defense or anything in front act. It's just a fact of the matter. He takes a lot of shots um, up until this game. Shot and, oh my, what a stop again. Chance of the slot. Shoots it just wide of the net. Well, Penske 
is really facing a lot of great opportunities by Gann. The setup again. Look at that. Great transition. Throws it down low. Two guys wide open. Down low. Back to the point. To the dot. Down low. He goes right to the slot for the give and go. Ends up on the left side of the net. Walks out alone and tried to shove it up top. Couldn't find the marker. Wayman throws it. Oh, cross ice pass again. He's our 10 Beller plays by Gann. Trying to shovel it in behind, can't do it. It's a long drive up here too for Barry's Bay. Could be still jet lag. The third could be their period. Deflected, stopped by Lopensky. Towards the net again, Lopensky with the stop. Jesse Dick moving it out through center with great speed as well. He's got a room now. Shot and Comment comes up with a great save on that one. Closing the door. That's gonna be a bit, at least the fourth or fifth uh, break or odd man rush for uh, for Jesse Dick in this game. He's been snake bit. The guy finds space somehow. He's not popping him right now, but he's definitely finding space. I mean, he has got a goal. Like you say, he's had many opportunities. It could be a 9-5 game. Again, uh, an behind the net. Out through center ice, and Harris is in with blazing speed. Cross pass. Selleck loses the handle on that one. Steven. Selleck stopped by Lepensky on his stick again to the point. Dixon looking for a spot. Can't do it. Selleck to the point. It's out. Comment comes out to play. He's a good puck playing goaltender. And he plays it behind the net. Looking for uh, Steven there on that one. He'll move it up. Selleck to Steven. Trying to drop it back. Can't do it. Back to the point. Barry's Bay, good speed here through the neutral zone. It's kind of slows down. They dump it in. Comment directs that up and out of play. And we'll have a restart. And I'll tell you, it's not all doom and gloom for Barry's Bay. It's pretty good hockey here. And uh, guys, they own Devin Campbell's had himself a great game. Jesse Dick, as we've mentioned many, many times. Um, Luigi Martone. Martone's been amazing. And uh, I really like the play of uh, Ben Langill. I'm, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Number 22. He's had a really, uh, a really hard game. And he's still playing. He's behind the net with it right now. Knocked off the puck. Latimer chips it onto the half boards and out. Gann, long stretch pass. Pawlowski, draw pass. Slot. Oh my goodness. How did he find that one? Lipensky has come up with another great stop. Higgs behind the net, trying to walk out with it. He's into the corner, back to the point. Good smart play to Latimer. He'll throw it back down low to the corner. Higgs turns, throws it to the slot. Good chance there for Dixon to stop the reach out of the reach of his stick. And they've got two away. Walking in on goal. Pass across, waits him out. Command makes the great save, and two of them as the net comes off the pegs. Classic command. It really is. It's never on purpose. He's a huge goalie, and he pushes so hard, he sometimes knocks that net right off. But as you see in a lot of these occasions, he'll make the save after the putt or the net comes off. So. Hey, look at the pegs in this one. They're not half an inch. They're, They're pretty in. big. They are. They are in. He must have really kicked hard. He, he must have really kicked hard. 2-20 to go here in the second period. Still great action, even though it's a 9-2 game. Barry's Bay will definitely, in the third period, try and close the gap and make it look a little better in the newspapers tomorrow. It's dropped right onto the stick, thrown across ice. Dick, if he'd have been moving in towards that neck, might have made that play. Thrown across. Blowski, drop pass there. Brown throws it across. Oh, this playing, I'll tell you. Tic Tac Tokyo, and they're away. Jesse Dick walks in, ripped it, and Comment challenges and makes a great save there again. I wouldn't be surprised if 20 of these shots were by Jesse Dick. No, he's just firing. He's just rifling them. He's their offense right now. Summers, their captain. I don't see him in the lineup right now. No, Higgs scores. That is number 10. That's double digits. Minutes 
27 seconds, or 23 seconds for the uh, Barry's Bay Wolves. Well, we've seen them play incredible hockey. We loved it last weekend being out there in Barry's Bay. It was a beautiful arena. The entire crowd was so welcoming and nice. And uh, got to meet the owner, one of the co-owners. Yeah. It was a really great experience. And I can't wait to go back. But this was not the team that was on the ice in Barry's Bay. One back, they're in, shot through, commenced on, but it deflected away. Back to the point. Okay. Nice move there to try and get through. Harrison behind the net, trying to move out. A long ice pass, deflected. Barry's Bay trying to move it in. Spencer shot and deflected away by Command. One minute, and this period will come to an end. Off the boards, out through center. Smith, slot here. They're just doing anything they want, really, with the zone entry. Try, tried to get a pass across ice. And Harrison knocked on Steve his pants. That puck come up, hit him in the mouth. And that is going to sting. They cross the blue line, Barry's Bay. Around the net, stopped by Command, and after the shot, Command holds on to it. It's a, yeah, he took the puck right in the face. He's going to need uh, some medical attention here. It's a backhand pass, trying to get it out of the zone. I think that that was. Uh, what was that? Phil Mullen, that's right. Yeah, Phil Mullen, the back pass out of the zone. Took him right in the snap. Face off deep inside the game zone. 33 seconds remaining in this second period. We've got a 10 to 2 game lead. And uh, I'll tell you, if you would have bet pro line before this game, you wouldn't have thought it would have been this big of a lead. No, definitely not. Blocked and goes down the ice. What a nice long pass up the ice for Lepensky. Thrown into the zone. Latimer, as this clock winds down in the second period, no icing. Down and around the boards. Mullen, he'll let the clock run here. Nine seconds remaining. Respect to both sides. And we'll go to the third here very shortly after this little break. The shots on goal in that period favor Gann again. 24. Jake before the puck drop. You can tell frustration for Barry's Bay is setting in as Gann works it in. Shot and they score again. It is 11 to 2. Just razor sharp hockey on the part of the Gananoque Islanders. And they still have a few games in hand. I think they have five games remaining in the season. They did write them down. Yeah, they play back to back. 
back against uh, the Bulldogs, and they're off to the Ritos, and then they play the Oil Kings to wrap up their season. And Gananoque right now is already in playoff here. Grays Bay just having that uh, tournament yesterday, I think, has put them on their back foot to start this game. A short bench, again, doesn't help. And a Gananoque team that is playing with a lot of confidence right now. When every puck's landing flat on your team, it's hard to stop, as I said, in the second period. They're in a shot. Comment makes the save. Quickly reacts to that one, but a great defensive play there to keep it out by... Shot goes up into the mesh by Mullen. On these type of games, you got 20 minutes to go. You just keep your feet moving. Yeah, just you know, honestly, just play, play out the remainder of the minutes and uh, let the time one down, line down. Move on to the next one. Draw deep inside the zone. Van Gill, nice draw. Win to do back shot by Campbell. The knocks down in front. Commence and deers himself over to make that save. Great stop there. So you can't see that. Velasco having himself a great game. Sifts it up and in again. Drop back. What a nice move by Higgs. Can't get around. Pass up to the center. And there's our buddy Martoni. Tries to throw it across. Can't get it. Shipped up into the mesh. Give ourselves a draw. Now the Barry's Bay Wolves are only trailing by. 13 shots now. They can even it up. They can tie the score. They can pump each one of them into the next. <laughs> Very unlikely, Billy. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to be positive, but when it's nine goals, it's a little difficult. Shot from the point, deflected, rebound in front, and he's knocked down. Comment saw it and went right to it. Would have been a 10 beller. Again, gains the blue line, cross past the Blasco. He's got three on the night. Down low. It's a sticky part of the ice. Wet ice to the boards, off the glass, kept in by Latimer. He'll throw it along the wall to the point. Wide open shot, deflected. Oh, that must have hit him right in the mask again. Lipinski, not only taking on 11 goals, he's taking on two shots to the cage. Rattle the cage. We're going to take a bunch of shots in the cage, Justin, over your career. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely have taken some in the neck. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't feel good. Your ears ring for a little bit. But uh, yeah, it's not my favorite save to make. The team I played with last, my Northern Flames used to tell me uh, to get over it when I get hit in the head with a puck. They're like, oh man, you got all that equipment on. I had one guy play net for me in a practice one time, and he got hit in the face with a puck. He went, your ears ring for a good 10 minutes after. I go, yeah, that's why it's, it hurts. <laughs> and, and the way that the, the masks are now, I've got to give the, a lot of credit to the manufacturers here. They've done a great job with reducing those the ringing in the ears and and uh you know they've done a great job with all the new technology they put in these uh in these new uh masks that they, they develop for goalies reducing uh, goalie concussions as well like even getting hit in the head with a puck can cause a mild concussion and like you're saying the way it is now it's it's great that way barry's bay has a two-on-one break Cross stop by Kement. he was there the day before the puck got there what a great read on that one a rip shot by Koda off the mask and up into the mesh. Lepensky in a firing range right now. All the young lads and ladies here for this game. I gotta say, uh, Lepensky's probably feeling a little deaf right now. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. He's not here in Cotton Eye Joe, he's here in Tweety Birds. He's hearing. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Oh, ripped around the net. Shovels that back down low. It's up to you. If you want, if you think that'll be all right, we can try. Draw inside the zone. One back to Barry's Bay. Ripped around the boards and Gan will pick that one up. Through the center ice area. Duggan goes it towards the net. Knocked off his stick. Behind the net. Dan control. Slot shot. Lipinski rebound. Another stop again. It is loose. Bomb for the whistle. 
Now, one thing I just noticed here, so Command Freynos has 28 saves right now in this game. He, normally in front act, that would be one period. Yes, it really would be. Usually the first. Top of the circle. Point. Oh, and a beauty save by Lepensky. He's down then. Sure is. He can make the save, he makes the save. If it's, uh, these are 10 bell opportunities that are going in on him. He's a tremendous goalie. He's showing that glove. After that is Martoni. After Duchesne. Behind the net, giving chase. Loses the handle on it. Duchesne smartly comes back. Reset this. Make a smart pass up to the center ice area and it gets in. Lepensky will get back just in time. It hits a foot. Good point. Duchesne working it low. He's got Brown on the right side as well. Looking in front. The corner. Duchesne directs it towards the net. Lepensky finds that and makes a nice save there. Bodied against the boards. Played by Mullet. Half boards. Martoni giving him everything he can handle right now. <coughs> Try to walk it out. Slop. Ripped a shot. And Lepensky with a beauty glove save on that Looking low like Felix Fodman. Yes, sir. 48 shots seems about right. Fodman's 95 96 season. <laughs> Boy, they, I tell you, the defense in Toronto that year was so bad. Wow. Wild. Wow. Four Barry's Bay. Chip through center. A one on three chance there. Offside. Again. Looking for number 12. Zella. Shot. Hits a stick and drops and hits the back of the net there. Into the corner. Big hit. With a one on two, more shot in the Harris chasing after Campbell behind the net, knocked off the boards. Campbell will get after it. Three on two chance here for Barry's Bay. On goal backhand stop by Kermit. Knocks it down. Harris will pick that one up. The crowd loves it here. There's a good crowd on hand, as we said in Gann. This beauty Sunday afternoon game between two playoff bound clubs and both threats to whoever they face in the first round. Deserano, Tweed, it doesn't matter. Smith Falls, they're going to have a hard time with this team. Rip the shot. Comment finds that one just before it hit him in the snout. And holds on to the whistle. His hat set up and his helmet look fantastic. <laughs> yeah, I think it's great. Take a jack o' lantern. Shot through deflected. Commence steers it into the half towards there. Again, try and move it out. His 30th save on the night. He'll be overshadowed by this 11 2 lead. Harris throws it back. Walks him. Cross ice. Stop by Lepensky. What a great save. And look at the heart and the passion he's showing. Still coming up with great saves. This guy's down by nine. Yeah, he's showing a lot of mental toughness. Despite being scored 11 times, you know, you wouldn't really look at that with the way he's playing. No, not at all. And again, it can't be blamed on him. Going back to the point, Marison. Back behind the net of goats. Around to the other side. Not with a game player, trying to throw it back around. And it will, the Higgs. The point, Marison can't get it. Tried to play it off the board for Jesse Dick. Trying to hunt down a goal for his mates. Marison throws it across. Can will pick it up with support with him. Higgs turns back to the point. Throws it down low. There he's Bay. Long ice pass. Jesse Dick can't get to it. And a long slip of that. Marison with a slot. Stopped by Lepensky. The corner turning. Bring it back behind the net. Holding. Head shot. Score. That was a beauty. That was. That was a dime. And that's a dozen. Higgs fires home the goal on that one. And that's, that's his hat trick as well. Yeah, Higgs with three goals now. Four assists. Seven points on the night. For uh, Brock Higgs having himself a game. Yeah. 
to the zone. Oh, 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 Smith. Brown, toe drag there, throws a backhand pass, and then goes straight the penalty coming out to Gezerano. Across the blue line with good speed here, blocks the dot, throws it to Sykes. Corner shot towards the net. That'll be a penalty coming up. Looked like a hook, I guess. High stick. Didn't see either one. There's another player here. season against the Oil Kings on Sunday and then we'll have the Frontenac Phantoms from Barry's Bay. Justin and I will make the trip in. Hopefully Justin will be able to make it uh, to the game and uh, I'll be there see if I can bring my son. We'll have some great hockey action and the Phantom season and the Barry's Bay Wolf seasons as they bookend their seasons playing against each other. One on the road and one on the home at home ice. And that, that, that environment in Barry's Bay is second to none. It's up there with tweeds or uh you know, uh, just it's electric, full of energy. It's fun to be at. It really is. D to D. Shot. Command juggles that, finds the rebound, and holds on to the whistle. Barry's baby. Nice for them to get one here. All within nine. We get a roll going. Barry's making score. It's just with that short of a bench. I mean, they've got two lines plus one. And, uh, he gets hired against a great team like Gan from the point. Yep. Gan, Gan definitely knows how to how to strain your, your or drain that energy. It looks like it's gonna be a five on three. Noticed it and made a comment here. There's a six on three. This is nice to see. They are not giving up. I, mean, I don't think they think there's going to be a big comeback, but make it close and show they know how to score. Tries to throw it in front of the net. It's knocked away. Again, Anakwe still closing gaps with six players to cover. Throwing it to the point. They got a chance here. Point chance for Campbell. Ripped it through, hits a stick, finds a tape. Barry's way wrong. Trying to throw it back to the point. No, nope, it's covered. Now he's got an opening. Walking in. DDD pass. Drop pass. No, nope, good fake. Walks into the slot area. Chance shot. Clement finds it. And makes a beautiful save. And this Gan crowd loves it. They're going to love him here. In the uh, gold, green, and gray. Yeah, will they ever? I mean, he's... He's a backbone for any organization. He's going to make those key saves. He's got to bring in a lot of Ws. Goals had to get trouble. Uh, problem in game before he came because he hurts. He's got some great numbers. Great numbers, but, you know, he's not Jake Command. He's not Jake Command. No, very few are. Very few are. Price. Wah. Pop Ben. <laughs> Back to the point. Actually, I shouldn't put Pop Ben in there. That's not fair to Jake. And I love Felix. He was nominated for a Vezina a couple no, times, I yeah. think. Was he not? Um, I want to say yes, but no. Oh, Shot to go. the screen and he scores. Um, oh, they've got 50 shots on goal for game. I didn't see that. 50 shots, 35. Jake's made 32. That's now 12. See if they can snap another one. Uh, 51 seconds as well left on this power play. Are they going to pull their goalie again? I guess we'll see. I don't know. I think we're going to have to get pizza after this, Justin. Yeah. <laughs> one back. Two left and 
Center with speed, a good move, and he's in. Onto the rush. Comes into the corner. Comes into the point, it's picked off. Throw through center ice. Wyatt Coda gains the blue line, throws it down low, and Lepensky's there. Make sure that doesn't go in. Throws it up ice out of the reach of Jesse Dick. And as Justin's noticed, it's, he's, he, he streaks out of that zone, looking for that long ice pass. Not as a criticism, just a point of fact. It is definitely a point of fact. He uh, he played a lot like this when he was in arm primer as well, so he's known to be a very streaky, sneaky forward. That's awesome. Brown setting it up. 11 seconds remaining. He drill it down. Easiest save Lepensky's had to make all night. Up to 51 now. Props to Lepensky for staying in this game and playing so well. It's been very difficult for him this entire game. The chance has become fast and furious. And uh, he stood tall. That was a heart and soul goal of it. Off the boards. And they're in Coda. Stick in front of him. Looks like he lost track of the puck. Goodness, eh? It's just anything that will go wrong right now is for the Barry Bay Wolves. Up and the end of the match. Nine minutes. 58 seconds to go here in the third. A 12 3 lead. Time to do the scoring summary in that second period. There's a lot. Rings it around the boards. Marison will meet that onto the half boards. Keep it in. Uses his body to keep himself separated. Thrown up and just out of the reach. Turning back. Chipped up through. Dug in. We'll go for icing. We'll bring it back to Barry's base. Funny story about Dugan. Early in the season. Where, uh, Prondack was playing against Gann and Gann and uh, he looked at Sam Fishby and asked him how old he was and looked down his shirt and saw a few uh, chest hairs and asked him if he was 15 years old. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good buddy Sam Fishby. I've never seen a guy that small take on so many hits and respond with a lot of physicality as well. He's just a true, I love Sam Fish, my hockey style, it's fantastic. Presley got a very like hard shot too for yeah. a guy that small. And low from the point, he's always shooting low, it's great. Jacob Peterson's another one, a young lad, not a big, big guy, and he throws his weight around what, what weight he has. He's a, he's a good guy that way. Great four checker. He's got a heck of a shot. And he's got a wicked shot. Chance in front. Lepensky finds it. Holds on for the faceoff. I feel like they're a little more than 50 shots. I think yeah, they, they fell a little behind there. They haven't counted at least the last two. Because I was at 50. They shot the one from the red line. It didn't count. They haven't counted that one either. Get the official from the left side. It says 57 shots, actually, Justin. There we go. Up the ice on a break. Oh. And it's in. Well, now he's got his uh, his matching saves percentage and from the looks of it. 35 shots, four goals. He's up to around his, uh, his average for the season. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Sorry, he'll, Jake. He'll, he'll appreciate it. That's a good number, too, the 893. Um, it puts him in the top 10 in the league. And they're just uh, unfortunate goals, to be honest with you. Shot and they score. It's, it's a Baker's dozen as Gannon Ockway fires home another one to the excitement of this crowd. 13 on the board. They've come out pretty heavy here to support the Islanders in this game. I wonder if we know anyone who will be doing the video for that game. 
Speed game? <laughs> no, the girls game after this. Oh. <laughs> Throwing it on command. Command shovels it to the left. And they move out. Play up. Walking across the line. Sit pass over. Slot. Selleck shot. A great save. By Lipensky. Shoveled up to Jesse Dick. In his office. There to try and get around. Too many again. And Aquay Islanders on him. Looks like Devin Campbell's all right. He's back on the ice. Aiden Harris. Little blue line. Big selling. Nice little pass there. Walking out his Campbell again. Pass across the ice. Dick didn't move for that. Campbell into the corner, trying to move it out. And get it back down low. No. Cannon out way to the point. And it's a three on one. Ice pass, Blasco, he's been on fire. Going back to the point. Down low again. 7.17 to go here in the third period. And it's night eight. And here we go. A chance here for the move. In for a goal. Trying to find him in the slot, he can't. Broken play. There he's Bay again. Tries to get it in, they do. Shot and he scores. And they got five. Barry's Bay. Again, not going away, but just to pick up a lead. 6.53 to go. We may actually have a couple more subscribers to the EOS HL TV, Justin. Yeah, I think so. We gotta get when I get home, get cards. <laughs> get the order. Right back to the point, and Gananakwe might try and answer here. Picked off by Barry's Bay, shot. Clement loves that one. Maybe you should talk to uh, Jake and see if you can get him uh, some new wraps. Maybe. Get him uh, green in there. I have Your brand new pants. I have to I'll be going back to Orange really soon. Now that is good information. I like that. Good play there. Get through the neutral zone with speed. Stick handling through the Bears Bay Wolves. Back behind the net. Into the corner. Shovels it back to the point. Shot on goal, directed away. Good body onto the boards. Point shot. Redirect. Up and into the glass. Flipped up and fell. Smith held on to him. Back down low again. And Barry's Bay will try and hold on. Out through center ice. Good speed here. He's all by himself though. Knocked off the puck. A one on four. Pass cross to the middle of the ice there. He ripped up. And as always, this game. Tries to go up top, stopped by Lepensky. Shovel that up. Throws it in, knocked down. Dan will control. Campbell. Five, 25 to go. Slot, shot. Lepensky, rebound. Steered into the corner. Coming out with speed now. Devin Campbell, he has not given up in this game. Oh. Offside, uh, was it? Oh, I couldn't see because of the our big camera that we have was in the way. <laughs> Maybe a big camera. We don't need a big camera to, to have good yeah, quality. Yeah, I'm right. Yeah, I'm right. Face off. Again, an Akwe will control. Thrown through center. Walking in over the line. Shot into the corner. Back around the net. And a slot shot. Great save by Lepensky. Oh, another one. Two beauties by Ethan Lepensky. He's not giving up at all. He's got to love the effort. Yeah, long ice pass now. 
Working it in is Ruben. Right back behind the net. Nice little stiff pass. Half forge. Working it down low. Taken away. Thrown up through center. Got an opportunity there for Luigi. Keeps it on side to Dick. Tries to throw it to the slot to Luigi. A chance again. And Kevin trying to find that. He can't. Goes into the corner. After the point. Campbell. D to D pass. Rip a shot. Kevin steers that aside. The point around the boards. Right the other way. And they're out. Darren off there with an opportunity here to break through. Across the blue line. Good drop pass. Shot. And Lipinski will stop that one. That is his 61st shot on goal. And it's 39 for the Wolves. And Jake Kamen coming up with 34 really good saves. And at the other end, Lipinski is doing everything he can against the onslaught of the Gananoque Islanders. Back to the point to Brown. DVD pass for Gann. Shot towards the net. Steer to side. <coughs> Back to the point again. Shoots it through. This is the net. Brown. Makes it down low. Up. And they're in. With good speed. On goal. Shot. A good save by Jake Clement. And then Gill. He's got a rocket. Clement is just too fast. What a nice play. Harris now. Tick, tack, toe. And Lapensky says no. With a slot chance. And it's up. A break opportunity for Langill again. And on goal. Drop pass. And it will go astray. Going up to center. Winding down this clock. Three minutes to go. It's a brilliant Sunday afternoon game between two great clubs. And one just took advantage of the other in this game. As they both can score. It's just tonight, Gann was the better team. With a full lineup. With a full lineup. That's a really good point. Minus a couple guys. Yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, Barry's Bay don't have their captain either. Summers, he is a big part of their club. Not that he's the whole deal, but he's, he's a uh, calming presence for Barry's Bay. Back behind the net. Gananakwe works it back to the point. Harrison. Pass down low to Higgs. On the cycle out of that corner. To the top of the... Oh, what a nice play. Higgs. Doing a little roundabout. He'll get it again. He'll go for a second time around. Harrison looking at that point. Higgs. Deacon around here. Just doing what he can do. Down low again to Higgs. Score. Wow. That just, was brilliant. Just the patience with the puck movement there and uh, not to overcommit on a pass is incredible. Uh, Higgs went around the whole ice and then he had about seven or eight passes in the corner and then found Paolo Palikowski. That's a mouthful. Hey, sit the knock down. They're trying to move in and get one. They'll keep the line. Got stopped by Jake Kement. McBride's got a whistling wrister. He'll get another chance here in the slot. Back to the point. And stay in. Shoveled over into the corner. Noah Summers. Loses it behind the net and Gam. Long ice pass. Good stick there. Hold it in after him. And a half forwards. Kohler will see that pass. Try to throw it in front. Now he'll hold on and go back to Reese. He's been an integral part of Gans D tonight. Some really big hits. And great defensive plays to thwart the Barry's Bay onslaught that they tried in the first period. A 2 2 game. A couple good chances. Great save. Point chance. Kept in. Hold it. Oh, a pass back door. Knocked away by the Barry's Bay defense. He'll carry. Fired in around the boards. Hits a leg. Knocked it off the boards there. And the corner. Thrown up into the half boards. And we got our last minute here in the third period. 
Dan throws it in low. This will be Commence's second win of the season and a second win against these very own Barry's Bay Wolves. Wow, yes, sir. Getting back to week one. Let's, uh, the long, long time ago. 6 4 was that win, and he was great in that one. Then came up with his 77 save performance in the very next game, I'm pretty sure, against Smith Falls. Uh, or no, against um, Center Hastings. Center Hastings. And then it was Dean Guvrol's turn, making 50. 52 saves on uh, only giving up two. Yeah. Throws it out in front. 12 seconds left. And that is going to end this game. The final, 14 for Gann, 5 for the Barry's Bay Road. But don't fret, folks. Next Friday, we've got action from the Piccadilly Arena as our two of our favorite teams, the Tweedledum Kings and the Frontenac Phantoms, will do battle in a playoff-type atmosphere. It will be a measuring stick for the, uh, for the Frontenac Phantoms. And Jake Kement will get the W. The Gananoque Islanders pile on a really nice performance here in front of this great crowd in Gananoque, folks. Great game. Justin, pleasure as always, my man. Absolutely, buddy. We'll talk to you soon. Bye for now, everyone. Thanks for tuning in.